hello you guys welcome back to my channel so i have another pick a card reading this pick a card reading will be you guys' favorite it will be what has this person been fantasizing about when you come to mind so i have three piles to choose from today the first pile will be the golden egg second pile will be the shark and the third pile will be the owl so use your intuition the best that you can and i'll see you at your reading hi pile one welcome to your reading so let's see what this person has been fantasizing about um what comes to their mind when they think of you sexually in this pile so let's see what does this person have been thinking about or what are they thinking about now when it comes to pile one and their 18 plus thoughts What is this person fantasizing? This person, they may be thinking about keeping you in like a cage. They think about keeping you in a cage. At their own will, at their own advantage. They think about keeping you in a cage. Ace of Cups. This person definitely has a deep infatuation with you. Um, from the first time you guys were intimate, I feel like. Um, if this is your first time being intimate with them, I don't know. I think like most of you guys, with the Ace of Cups, you guys might have history, most of you guys, but it don't have to be. It's just this person has a deep infatuation with you from the first time you guys have had sex. Like a deep, deep infatuation. Like some type of like it's not love but it feels like love because it's like if somebody's like getting to know you how can you love somebody so it's i feel like this person is infatuated and if it ha if you guys have actually been having sex for a little minute it's it could be love and infatuation and an obsession but they fantasize a lot about keeping you in a cage like i'm seeing like the egg being confined like these being like kind of like the bars or something like that but then he got her in like a a tight little spot so i feel like this person definitely wants to yeah put you in a cage if you're into that um or put you in a room if you're into that so something to do with like keeping you in like a locked room or in a locked cage and them coming to like get you and play with you when they feel like it if that makes sense they could also have um, cream pie fetishes. That's also giving me kind of like pregnancy vibes with the Ace of um, Cups and the Golden Egg. So I feel like this person likes to um, finish in you and stuff. They like, um, or they will start to do this, especially if they keep you in like a cage or in a room, they will start to do this. So it's kind of like this person has extreme kinks of like, um, I don't know if I can say that on YouTube. <laughs> well, not. But they do have extreme um, kinks like that. I feel like this person, um, let's see. They don't want nobody taking advantage of you in this pile. I feel like a lot of people would take advantage of you. This person has a lot of like, um, this need to like rescue you and keep you safe in this pile. Queen of Wands. Yeah, this person fantasizes a lot about rescuing you. They feel like you need rescuing. They feel like you need saving. They could also feel like you need to be like, like actually like, um, converted into their religion or something, yeah. They could be religious. They could want to convert you into being religious. This could be their thing. They could also fantasize about moving you in and keeping you like in bondage. So, yeah, because I like the little room. 
He's keeping her in. So the person feels like you're theirs, honestly. Whether you're dating this person or not, they feel like you're theirs. Five of Pentacles. Um, they think about you sexually a lot at work. A lot at work. Um, they try not to, but they do. Um, this person could have fears about your workplace. Some of you guys, you don't work at all, but so that would make sense. But this person has fears about you going to work, possibly. I don't know. This person um wants to, like, contain you is their fantasy. Like, like it's kind of like they want to think for you, do everything for you. Because they feel like they need to do these things with the Ace of Cups. It's kind of like the energy of like, oh, like you guys could be somewhere with friends and they'll be like, why is he always speaking for you? Or you could tell, you could say one thing and they'll be like, well, no, she needs this because of that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, and it's just like, how are you telling her what, like, but it's, I don't know. It's like, you never question this person, I guess. And it turns them on that like you don't really, you don't question them. Or you don't feel the need to question them because you have that level of trust possibly in this pile or this is their fantasy to, to develop this level of trust so that when they tell you that something is good for you or bad for you, you just listen type of energy but i do feel like this person could speak for you often or they this would just be a turn on for them to have this level of trust it's almost like they feel like this is this is for your well-being or something Some of you guys, they could just be like, like doing research too online about what they're into. I get a lot of piles like that where they ch kind of try to figure out why they might be into these things. So I think this is what this person has been doing because they fantasize a lot about extreme kinks in this pile. And it turns them on. We got the red roses right here. It reminds like this person could want to see you in red or red lipstick or red heels or their favorite color could be red or mm. red candle magic or blood magic in this pile but or it could just mean this person has a lot of passion for you this person likes to take action for you You feel really good to them. With golden egg is giving me like golden ovaries, like golden yoni. Like I'm waiting that it looks like a yoni um egg. But it's giving like this person um feel like you feel like God or you feel so good down there when they're inside of you. Six of Cups. This person has been doing a lot of research on you. Or the situation or what they like and what and why you let them do what you let them do to you or why they do what they do to you type of energy i don't feel like this person will ever harm you and i don't feel like they're like crazy i just feel like this person might be crazy over you and crazy over your box and crazy over like yeah but i, I feel like in everyday life this person's actually pretty sane and pretty smart with like him being reading and being in studies. Um, this person just, I guess, developed these fantasies over the time of you guys being engaged with each other. You know what I mean? Like it's kind of like just developed, I guess, over time and stuff. Cause I think kinks, they develop over time as you get older, you start to figure out what you're into and what you like off of like, I don't know, previous events, events, I guess. I don't know, but this person feels very attached to you and very 
they want to be attached to you. This is why I'm getting like bondage, I'm getting chains, or I'm getting like um, a cage, or I'm getting a specific room that you get to be in um, for like playtime or something like that. Or it's just like a specific room that is your room or something like that. So I don't know if you lock, <laughs> if you lock this person out sometimes or they give you, I don't know. They give you your time to yourself. But I feel like this person has fantasies of like organizing everything in this sexual experience. You know what I mean? So like they're just very OCD possibly. Like maybe and OCD does OCD doesn't mean have to be extra clean. That's like you're just very control like your thoughts are very um particular. Like your fantasies and stuff are very particular and stuff like that they need things done a certain way so i feel like this will give them some type of safety but like i said this person would be calling all the shots <laughs> and i feel like they've been trying to find somebody i guess that's willing to let them do all this and not be freaked out i feel like you actually enjoy the attention i feel like this person just infatuated with you though um I feel like they're gonna message you soon, honestly. So this is someone who can't spend too much of time apart from you, is what I'm getting. Um, so it's almost in a way like you fulfilling their kinks almost helps them um, mentally or something, or I don't know. Like you give them some type of relief or release and maybe they do that for you but i'm getting like they have a lot of tension maybe um so you help them like you guys both help each other out, i guess and they fantasize and they think about this all the time how they never thought they would find somebody who would let them i don't know live out these fantasies or something i don't i'm not sure but um, that's what I have for you, Pat One. If it did help and it did resonate, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next post. Hello, Pal Two. Welcome to your reading. So, this will be what your person is fantasizing about. What are they thinking about when you come to mind sexually? So, let's tap in to what they've been thinking about, what they really want from you. First of all, I feel like this person notices and they see everything. I don't know. They have a very... They have like a certain vibe about them. Let's see what they've been fantasizing about when it comes to you. We've got the Justice card. This could be a Libra type of energy. We also have the Two of Swords. Um... this person for this pal This person could want to have like revenge sex or you could want to have revenge sex with this person but whoever this person is with a shark energy has definitely been stalking you and they definitely have information on you or they definitely had to do some type of like looking you up searching you up so i'm seeing somebody like searching you up on their instagram bar or on their whatever social media bar it's like this person has done some like with a skeleton right here it's kind of like digging in your closet like it's like this person has Maybe has some information on you or this person knows more about you than you might think or they're speculating or they're projecting onto you. I don't know. This person is very um, 
gives me like a predator vibe like i'm not gonna lie like this person gives me like they've been seeking you out or trying to like ask people about you or ask a certain person about you like so i'm getting this person might actually you guys might have the same friend group or they might have seen you out and they just knew somebody that knew you so it doesn't mean that they knew you it just gives me that this person like sees everything or they just didn't like this person just feels heavily drawn to you and attracted to you that they feel like they have to go lengths to contact you or maybe they feel like you oh for some of you guys they feel like you're off limits with the two of swords it's giving like they you're off limits or because you're off limits it's turning this person on so it's definitely a taboo connection um it could be definitely be hidden because he's like in the darker waters so this person feels like they have like it's something like this is like you guys aren't supposed to be doing it type of energy so <laughs> because you guys aren't supposed to be doing it it makes it even more of a turn on it will make it even more of a turn on so yeah it's kind of like i heard you're his girl you're my girl too <laughs> or okay for some of you guys that's what it is i don't know like or maybe like this person if that's not your case, it's still something like hidden here that you don't know about this person. So maybe like their possessiveness or maybe they have like a kink that you don't know about that you'll find out that they that they like. So yeah, the shark is like giving me this person has kinks, like under under like hidden kinks. So um they might want to put that on to you, you know what I mean? Like so if you're like a vanilla type of girl or even if you're trying to get into harder kings, I feel like this person is definitely a person to explore that with because they're in this shark mode about you. So this person already probably has a lot of experience or they're just willing to satisfy you. Like this is somebody who's been like researching you. Like I said, they're, they're willing to satisfy you in this pile because of like what they had to do i guess to get you or to make this happen i don't know the shark is just giving me like they're very like set on you know how like they have tunnel vision basically so um on you yeah wow i don't know if like <laughs> They fantasize a lot about running into you. They fantasize a lot about running into you somewhere public um, or crossing your paths and then having a talk to you. Like, you guys have to talk. It's a little bit awkward, but now they have you where they want you. You get what I'm saying? Like, that, yeah. It's kind of giving, like, they fantasize about running into you, literally. Um, or running into you again is what I heard. Like, this person's trying to hang out at some of the places i guess that you hang out or the challenges or hang out in the neighborhood that you hang out in i don't know this person's like very smart and strategic and very clever and very even a little bit like narcissistic is what i heard or very um it's kind of like especially if they know somebody that likes you it's kind of like survival of the fittest but like we're not even talking about that we're talking about like you so giving like kind of like they have no like they don't really see no competition so yeah this person is very um selfish and they're very set on you and they see you as like a prize like a prize possession so and i feel like this person is a bit crazy <laughs> You ever seen like sharks run into things and they don't care? It's kind of like this person might run into trouble and they don't care. Or, I don't know, is this person a dangerous person?
or a menace. I don't, I don't know. We got the Scorpio card. Hold on, let me. Okay, so those are the cards that fell on the floor. Um, but what I was trying to say before is kind of like this person um, might have to fight for you, or they don't mind fighting over you. Or they don't mind getting into trouble over this, or. Mm -hmm. For some of you guys, they. Yeah, they want to run into you with the Eight of Cups. That looks like a run in. Um, and then, so I don't know, you could be avoiding this person, or you're not even thinking this person wants you this bad. Because I feel like, because of the situation, I feel like it's it might be inappropriate, or it's just. Mm, magician. Libra and Scorpio is here as well as I forget what the magician that sign is. I don't know if it's Aquarius or Gemini. Um but this person has been fantasizing is definitely about um using you for their own pleasure or using you for somebody else's reaction or like you're their guilty pleasure so it could just be like they like to like they like guilty sex they like um things that are just drama or in in convent like not convent like not society norms like they like so this could definitely be an air sign or they have air moon or air rising or air placement something where it's like very they don't really care so much of the consequences because they maybe they did a lot to have you or to get to you or to run into you or to message you or to call you or you have them blocked with a death card but whatever it is, they feel like now is better now than never type of energy. So if you see them, they might grab you from behind or they might like I feel like this is somebody you'll be absolutely shocked or you might not feel. I feel like you're attracted to them, though, or you will be attracted to them in some type of way or. You feel like they're very demanding though, this turns you on, but they like the fact that maybe you're very um, submissive because she's tied up here. So what they like about you is that you are so secretive, you are so submissive. Maybe you don't really talk up much with the two of swords. You're very subtle and it's hard to like hear you or you're afraid to speak up. I don't know, it's giving me like you're very, like you're the opposite of this person. You're very um afraid or you're very just jumpy or you're very soft-spoken and this person is like the complete opposite they're like they i'm seeing like a shark running into the running into something and not caring oh it's like they're very like i want to say masculine but they they're like a different type of masculine where it's like they don't really care about anything when they really want something or someone so it could be money this could be like a crush or it could be like something like you you know so yeah that's what they've been fantasizing about like running into you soon or trying to get their way with you very soon um they don't really want to hear no excuses um yeah from you so that's what i have for you if it did help and it did resonate please like comment subscribe and i'll see you on my next post hello Paul three welcome to your reading so this will be um what this person is thinking about when they think of you sexually when they fantasize about you so let's see what this person has been thinking about sexually when it comes to you Paul three the person on your mind
this person is waiting on you. I don't know. They feel like they know you'll come back or they know that they're going to see you again for this to happen. Like, so I feel like right now this person is patiently waiting. I heard this serve you. So this person wants to be very giving in the bedroom is what they've been fantasizing about. So this person wants to give you a head in this pile. And do like Queen of Pentacles. You could be an earth sign, but you just look really good to them. You like, yeah, you look really, really beautiful to this person. The fitness lies a lot about you being like completely like you shaved down there. Like your body like, you know, shaved and like lotion and like oils and perfumes and like your makeup done with the Queen of Pentacles is giving like you basically getting ready for like a D appointment. This person's like fantasizing about you like showing up at their place, smelling really good, tasting really good, looking really good, um, wearing something special for them, um, and then wearing something special underneath. So yeah, this person's like fantasizing about the whole thing. So this person's very um sensual like they want to get sensual like every little thing matters i feel like they like to look at you as well so this person fantasizes about actually like spending time with you or just being with you until they can't take it anymore and then they just kind of like plead with you or they ask you or this is somebody who like has manners i feel like or they have some type of like um control over themselves or they have yeah it's like they have some type of control over themselves but like inside they're kind of like dying to be inside of you like you know like dying to like go down on you like they're they're wanting like they're probably just thinking about sex 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 but it's like they have they're holding their composure i think this is like their favorite part because it like makes them it makes the timing more valuable and it makes it more intense so this person definitely has some type of self-control um they like to kind of like come off with ease and like with manners and with grace but they're just like every other guy it's just they're kind of just trying to like <laughs> i don't know just be um smooth with it like to make you feel comfortable i guess Could have taken care of you before with the queen of pentacles it made you feel really good because i feel, I, feel, I just feel like this person had they admire you they admire your looks your body and stuff like that you could have an admiration kink they like admiring you so they have they have a worship kink you have an admiration kink so it works it goes hand in hand and vice versa, maybe you guys praise each other. With the Knight of Wands, I feel like. Yeah, you guys, I feel like you guys praise each other's bodies or something like that. Or you guys kind of like go, you guys do the whole thing. Like you guys enjoy the whole meal type of energy. So like you guys, this person has been fantasizing about grown woman, grown man sex. Like maybe like taking you out first with the Queen of Pentacles, taking you out somewhere nice drinking wine or drinking alcohol and then like kind of just getting comfortable watching like a movie. whatever you guys do as grown-ups like even if you guys stay in um you guys maybe cook together or order a meal like take out or something it's like they want to get very like fancy and then like destroy you afterwards like slut you out <laughs> is what they're fantasizing about But this person will be thinking about it the whole time. Like, you look very good. Um, King of Pentacles. That makes sense. Um, yeah, this person... Um,
At least it's something you guys is a boyfriend or a girlfriend. And you guys could possibly live together. Or you guys live close. Or you guys live separately. But whatever it is, you guys kind of like have the same kind of kinks. And they've been fantasizing about this. And I really feel like it has something to do with like you guys being sexually compatible. Definitely with both of the king and queen here. But you guys definitely, I kind of get like, you guys are in love with each other's bodies. And I feel like you guys are like... When this person is in you, it feels really good. Like it's like a match, match made in heaven. It's like, I'm getting bed by, um, what's his name? Um, what was his name? I forget, but you know that song, Bed? He had like braids, I'm not sure who the artist is. It started with a V, I think. But um, I just channeled that song for this pod, but it's giving like sensual, like, yeah, it's giving bed. Like the perfumes I was talking about, like how he's just like, um, you know, like basically praising her in that song, like how she's just the queen of pentacles. You guys know each other's worth, I feel like, and it's definitely some type of commitment and loyalty here. And that's what I'm channeling loyal D by Royal, by um, Ruby Rose, excuse me. So bed and loyal D. So yeah. <laughs> For this pile. Let's see. What else do they fantasize about? Yeah, it's kind of like this person fantasizes about, like, you being all theirs down there. So, like, I don't know if they make you say that it's theirs or vice versa, but they love the fact that it's theirs. Like, it feels way better when the person is loyal to you and they're not having sex with nobody else, you know? Like, the fact that you can wait on them, they can wait on you, it turns this person on. This is what they've been thinking about, mostly. That It's like, I'm trying that one song where J. Cole is like, I don't know, a type of sex where you don't have to worry about, like, if you were to get pregnant, they already know that it's their type of, like, sex. It's like the best to this person, what they've been fantasizing about. I'm at the moon car. It's definitely feelings involved. Yeah, you guys are in love and it's power. They want to make love. They want to make love. Some of you guys get a little scared of your emotions that you feel for this person and vice versa, but it feels really good to be scared because maybe you guys haven't been scared in a long time about your feelings for somebody, especially sexually. So this person definitely has their eye on you. They definitely are you're all over their mind with the owl. Um, but they feel this is like a soul, like this is like a um, soul tie. You guys sexually have a soul tie. So I feel like this person, it could be a little scary, but it's actually very fun to go deep with somebody in that way sexually. It's been really good to them doing this with you. So let me get, I'm gonna get one more nine of swords. Yeah, this person um, thinks about you all the time. It's like this person can wait for you to be ready, you know. And they really want to do oral on you in this pile. It's something about pleasing you and making you orgasm and making you come that makes this person feel good and vice versa i think it does the same to you to watch your man or your woman come like their face and everything and they like to watch your face like you guys with the owl i feel like with the the owl the queen and king of pentacles you guys that like to see each other's expressions you guys like a lot of eye contact you guys like a lot of kissing you guys like a lot of like hard breathing moaning each other's mouths and stuff like that like you guys like everything about it like every moment every second so yes yeah, person likes looking up at you while they're down on you and stuff they like looking at your face looking down at them while they're looking up like they like everything about it so yeah or love everything about it this person's in love with the moon this person really 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 misses you i feel like you guys will have me i miss you sex and it'll be like the best ever every time because they always, this is the power they always miss you. Like, right when you leave, they miss you. Like, when you're on the way home or they're on the way home, they miss you. So, 
what I have for you, pal. Um, three, if you did help and did resonate, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on my next post.